This video is a step-by-step -step guide to ohm testing on the compressor for an LK Easy H2O bottle filling station. Here are the tools you'll need. Before you start, be sure to put on safety glasses and cut-resistant gloves, as metal edges can be sharp or rough. Begin by removing the four 5 16 inch screws from the lower panel. Then remove the lower panel from the cooler. Unplug the cooler from the wall outlet. Locate the compressor relay cap and remove it using a flathead screwdriver. To do this, insert the screwdriver head into the slot at the top of the cap. Press in and down to pry the cap off the compressor. Remove the relay first, followed by the overload. Place the red electrical probe to the top coil, the common coil. Place the black electrical probe to the run coil at the bottom right. Check the reading on the multimeter and write down the results. Once again, place the red electrical probe to the common coil, this time placing the black electrical probe to the start coil at the bottom left. Again, check the reading on the multimeter and write down the results of the second reading. Now place the red electrical probe to the run coil at the bottom right, while placing the black electrical probe to the start coil at the bottom left. Check the reading on the multimeter and write down the third reading. Take the two previous readings and add them together. The combination of the first two readings should be equal to the third reading. If they do not, contact LK Technical Services at 800-260-6640 or a certified refrigeration technician to exchange the compressor. If the readings are equal, place the overload onto the top coil post. Then, place the relay onto the bottom of the two coil posts. Snap the relay cap back onto the compressor. It should be secure after you hear two clicks. Plug the cooler into the wall outlet. Replace the cooler's front lower panel back onto the cooler and secure it by replacing the four 5 16 inch screws. That's it! Your LK Easy H2O is now ready for use.